What is up? What is good YouTube? How are you guys doing? And welcome back to another flipping video. Today, we're going to be talking about two things that Fortnite have taken out with us, without us knowing. And a couple of more things I want to talk about so you guys could get that out of Fortnite as well. So kind of two little videos into one, I thought. Why not? It's nearly 1am in the morning, waiting for the new item to come out. Because hopefully, the new suit, if you guys haven't seen... The uh, fish guy, hopefully that apparently that's coming out tomorrow, today, well tomorrow, in about 15 minutes hopefully that's coming out. So tomorrow I might be doing a video with Kez, with the new suit, we'll have to see. But I want to talk about a couple of the weapons that Fortnite have taken out of the game, um, well not the actual weapon, a variant, a variant of one of the weapons and a weapon that they have taken out. If within Fortnite without us letting know. Now, obviously, I don't know if they have let us know. I've looked on Twitter. I don't think they have. I have checked on Twitter. I don't see anything of saying that they have taken this weapon out. If you guys have seen this and you guys know that this weapon is out of the game, please comment it and say, yes, this is confirmed, this is out, or something like that. So we want to talk about one weapon first, and that is a tactical shotgun. Now, yes, that's the weapon that's still in the game, the normal version, the green version, and the blue version. Where's the, uh, where's the purple version? Where's the epic version? Now, I don't know if they took in this out, but for the last three days, I have not once found this weapon. Now, I've been playing Fortnite for the last three days, around about eight hours every day with my boy Kev. We've been killing it, we're getting loads of wins. I did a um, game with um, Ben as well, and Will. As well, so we've been doing a lot of wins. We've been getting, I've got over 100 now, so your boy's been racking it up. Um, but I want to talk about obviously the epic version of it. In those three days, not once I have found this weapon in the game. Now, if you guys have found it, please let me know and please let me know it's still in the game. But for me to play three days in a row for god knows how long, eight hours plus, and not once find this weapon inside the game. Like, can someone tell me why that isn't, like, I, I've got to be really, like, 0 0.001% of that, like, not getting that gun, which is very highly unlikely. So I presume that they have taken this variable variant out of the game. Now, I know that, I don't know why they would have done this. Now, I'm just doing this because I know a lot of people will be like, um, have they taken this out? I don't, I'm not sure and I wanted to make a video because some of you guys might not even realize you might not even use the tactical and you might not even care But you will definitely care Well, most of you will care about the next one because it's a recent weapon definitely It's it's the most recent weapon except the pole uh, for whatever you call it Obviously, that's the new item, but the newest weapon is the home of myself and that is gone. If you guys have recently realised that the last couple of days you have not once been shot at, at a home missile, you've never got it. Because for this reason they have taken it out of the game. Now I know 100% this it is out of the game. Because the reason why I say this is because um, I'm not annoyed to be honest. I didn't like the weapon. I thought it was OP. Hence why they might have taken it out. Loads of people might have played it is out of the game by the way, I just want to clarify, I think this is out of the game. They might bring it back, but for now, right now, on my time, right now, it is out of the game. But, it, I, I haven't been shot at it, I haven't had to build my own little base to get away from it. The last time I remember using it is when the high exposures came out, that was the last time I ever used it. I haven't used it since, it hasn't been in a normal game. So when the servers went down for 12 hours, something ridiculous like that. Obviously, we've got free I can make sure you have got it. Now, some people haven't got it. Now, for example, Will didn't get it for some reason. Some people haven't got it. Now, that is the issue with him. I'm not sure if they're going to give you that. It is um, not in the game. You can't actually get it currently. There's also another bit that they're going to be giving you stars for your battle pass. So if you guys haven't got it, they're going to be helping you out because of the servers were down and stuff like that. So they're going to give you these things. Watch it. This is why I love Epic Games. But they make these little issues in the game which don't need to be fixed. But they still try and fix it. But they make it worse. Now obviously that the home missile is out. The variable, the variant weapon of the shotgun, Epic. I, I think that's gone as well. There's also another thing I want to talk about is the tactical SMG epic as well. I don't know where they, all these epic weapons are going now, but they're just definitely appearing. The epic weapon, epic one, is still in the game, but currently, guys, do not pick it up because it has a little issue with it. 
Um, and this is a little bit with all the tactical SMGs. I played a game in this gameplay as you guys are seeing, and it keeps like jamming a little bit. I don't know why, but especially the epic version. Me and Keth and Will all had the same issue, all in different games. And me and Keth, Keth, we threw both two big games. We were second. If I killed the last guy with the tactical SMG, which I would have done, it didn't fire, and I just died, and we came second in the end, which is really annoying. So it is getting jammed and me and Kev played another game, like a couple of games after that. Um, Kev also, we were in another 2v2, I was down, I knocked one of them and there was one more guy left and for some reason the tactical SMG did not fire. So for now me and Kev has learned that we're just going to take the green on the blue. But recently, in this gameplay, I had the same issue with the blue. It got jammed, I don't know what's up with these. Um, I'm still going to use them, they're so OP, people, if you guys have not yet used this tactical SMG, please, I'm begging you, use it, even if you get a kill on me, you will feel amazing, but it's so good, it's rapid, it's crazy. Now, in this gameplay you guys are seeing now, I'm not sure if you obviously will see it right now, I did a couple of games, crazy, um, sadly I didn't get any W's, but I will try my best to get a W for you guys tomorrow if the new suits are out and the skins and stuff. But, I want to talk about something completely different, not with new weapons, and that is about teaming in solo. And I'm saying this right now, if any of you guys are watching this video and you have teamed in solo with one of your mates and you've got in the same game and you have teamed in it, I'm sorry, you are utterly trash. Three times now, I have died, I've legit died three times because of teaming. And the worst thing about all of this, all three of them, all flipping three of them, I have got on video. I don't know why. I play solo quite a lot. And all three of them, I have got on solo and recording. Like, all three of them. I'm not even joking. I have legit every single... I've been teamed three times inside of the game. I was live streaming once, I think, or was I recording? I don't know. One of the others, I believe I was live streaming. That's it. I was live streaming one of them. The first one I was recording, the second one I was live streaming, and today I got it today and I was recording. But only happening when I'm recording. Can someone please tell me that? I don't know if it's like telling me that these people are actually cheating. But I, if you guys do team, just don't. One, you could get banned, and I do report everyone who does because it's just what's the point? If you're in the fun for like the person to be killed and yourself, because like, you you're gonna lose your account. And I shouted out some of the guy when I was streaming and loads of people reported him and he did come back to me and said I got, not that he got his account banned, but he couldn't get on Fortnite. So, he got banned off Fortnite for that. Now, I know a lot of people will say that, yeah, but teaming in solo it is great fun, but if we look at it as another aspect, you're not helping yourself if you want to get better at the game. For example, if you ever, you know, say, you've got all your mates, they actually play the game legit, they've got like 200 something blooming wins, you're there like, yeah, I've got 200 wins, yeah, I've got all these 200 wins on solo, yeah, I'm so good. But if you're teaming on all of them, you, like, you're just going to be trash when you play because you're teaming. You know what I mean? You go into their game and you're like, yeah, what's up, bud? You know, all that stuff. Um, but you're, you're just, you're... I don't understand why people like teaming in solo, it ruins the fun for everyone, but you, you're not helping yourself at trying to get better at the game. You jump into your mate's game and you're like, yo, I'm doing sick, I've got 200. They're going to expect high things from you. High things, because, you know, you've got these 200 wins on solo, they're going to expect mad things. Mad things. I don't know why I said things, I don't really say that. Mad things. And you're not going to be able to do anything because you just... You, you cheat. You flip and do... Um, teaming on solo and your boy, your mates are just going to be like you're trash I don't want to play with you and they're not going to play with you you might have the 200 wins but because your gameplay is crap and you don't do anything because you team you're not helping yourself now that moves me on to the final thing what I want to talk about within this video is um, solo now I know a lot of my mates don't play solo because they think it's boring but I must stress this enough from my experience of um, playing this game, by playing solo, I promise you 100%, by playing solo, 
you are going to improve. I must stress this enough. I was honestly crap. You could ask my old mate. They would say, yeah, he, he wasn't really good. They would straight up say I wasn't really good. And I wasn't. I admit, I was trash. But if you watch my first ever um, Fortnite video, I would honestly... I wouldn't recommend watching it. I'm not even joking. It was not good. All right. I'm not very good at the game. Um, within this gameplay, I, I do some errors. I do choke. Solo, you know, your heart beats like 100 miles an hour. You're not as chill. You're like, you're more focused. You know what I mean? But for if you guys, I must stress this, go and play solo. The reason why I say this is even if it's not fun and you are losing so many games, I get it. I get it. That's what my mates are like. They're like, yeah, but we just lose. What's the point? I'd rather play like duos and squads and win. I, I must, I've had like over 300 games or so, like 400 close to. I have learned and from all my, like, getting better at the game from solo. Because you're so much under pressure, your, your reaction to stuff is so much faster in solo than um, joys and squads because you have a teammate. You're like, okay, if I go down, like, I've still got a teammate, you know what I mean? But you know in solos, if you get short, that's it, game over. Next game, you know what I mean? I'm telling you right now, solo, just keep going at it, keep going at it, keep going at it, until you get a ton of wins. For example, yesterday and the day before, I played two. I played one solo that day, I got a win. The next day I played one solo, I get a win. That's it, I just swear. <laughs> you know, I'm a savage, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, I must stress this, please, please play solo, because you will get so... You you you're you're in flipping level of playment inside Fortnite will increase, and I can promise you this. I know that a lot of people are like yeah, but it, will it? It will. For example, I have won so many solo squads. For example, the other day, me, Kev, and Ben, we jumped in again. Kev and Ben died so early on, and I won the game. And it's not like I was camping. I only got one kill. I got six kills in that game on solo squads, pretty much. Because, the reason why I won that is because I'm normally under so much pressure and solo and I'm so used to the tenth thing that when it came to the squad, I was like, this is kind of the same. It's just like, you know, four times the players, three times, two times, maybe one. Because there's a one v one at the end. Um, but, you're under so much pressure and that's how you can bring it into your squad and solo and your building. Now, I know also need to say, if you guys want to get better at building, there's also a new option. If you guys don't know of building pro, you guys can definitely go and check that out. Um, it, it's, it's all right. I wouldn't recommend it if you're already used to the thing and you're already a quick builder. Um, I also want to say, um, when you're building, have your sensitivity up. Kill building up. My sensitivity is nearly 10. Currently, I have it at nine and a half, something like that. Because it will help you, I promise you, just boosting your sensitivity, even if you're on Combat Pro, it will increase your building skills a lot better. But anyway, let's get back to the thing about solo. Um, with the solo, just keep going at it. Honestly, just keep pushing yourself. And you will get loads of wins eventually. I promise you, you will. You 100%. And from people who are watching this video right now, you will know the exact same thing I'm talking about. You're like, yeah, I, I, can, I can relate to that. You know what I mean? You will improve, okay? I'm, you will, alright? I know a lot of people, I know a lot of my mates will be watching this, be like, no, but I won't. You will. And that's how my personal thing, I'm not saying I'm the best player, I'm nowhere near the best player, trust me, I'm not. But, just from when I started playing Fortnite to now, it's because of solo, not because of duos, not because of squads, it doesn't matter. You, if you're someone who plays squad and duos constantly, 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 if, say, your whole team dies, your whole team dies in your squad, and it's just you. You are not going to win. Even, you're not going to win. Even if you are good at the game. Because if you're against a 1v4, you're not going to win because you're not used to the pressure of your teammates not being there to support you, if you know what I mean. So the chances of you when you're in that issue, you're not going to win. You could be a fantastic player. You could be someone like Ninja, for God's sake. Yes, you could win. But, it would help if you played solo. So that's the video today, mostly talking about solo wins, when it's not really related to the actual title in the video, but I just wanted to help you guys along and tell you some new things that Fortnite haven't told us before, but if you guys are like this video, please give it a like, let's see if we can get like 10 likes or something, something, you know. Um, but if you're not new, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and I hopefully will bring you a new video tomorrow, and I've just checked the time, and the new skins should be out as well.
So I'll see you tomorrow and remember, keep watching.